Hey, Chris Sargent here, and what I'm tasked to do today in making note on how to do this is in my current project, when somebody clicks on a certain button, such as the zoom in or the zoom out control, I need to have a way of changing the color to signify that this is the active button when uh, somebody zooms in or zooms out on a map so they know when they drag their uh, cursor that they already know that it's selected whether it's zoom in or zoom out. To do that, I want the button to turn white in color. Now, currently, in my regular project, I have zoom out with a JavaScript click event, but now I want to add a .NET click event as well on the same button. So I have a JavaScript click event and a uh, .NET server click event to change the color of the button. What I'm going to do if zoom out is selected, as soon as you click it, it will turn white. And conversely, if you click on zoom in, the zoom in will turn white and the zoom out will turn into this kind of color of blue. I've already set up the uh, CSS file just for this example. And as you can see, we have a hex color. Now, if you want to know how to change, you, you will need to know how to change hex to an RGB and all you need to do is do a search on the web for a hex to RGB converter. Now with this I've already have the information with this the RGB colors that's equivalent to this so let me go ahead and show you how to add the code to change these buttons so they're white in color. I'm going to go ahead and go to the zoom in button first. I'm just going to type in button zoom in dot back color System dot drawing dot color dot white, and just in case the zoom out button is already clicked, we want to go ahead and do the same thing with it. but we want to change the RGB. And the RGB for this is 225, 255, 1. Whoops. Forgot. If you're using C Sharp, this code is exactly the same in both C Sharp and VB, except C Sharp uses semicolons like I just did there a second ago. So I'll just kind of cheat to get my beginning code up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just copying that block of code, pasting it down here at the bottom. It's the exact same code. I'm just going to change the names of the buttons. And now that we got that, let's go ahead and check this in our browser. Click on Zoom In. Zoom In turns white. Zoom out, zoom out turns white, so always the active control is the one that was white. So when you're zooming in or zooming out in a map, you know which one you're using. And we'll get more detail about that, and we'll have the same thing interacting with the map later. Talk to you soon.